my absolute favorite show and they turned it into this jacket it was a lot about layering which is this one it almost looks like they just okay so i think this is going into the right direction peace hello hello i hope you're doing good so it's fashion week right now here in paris and i took a look at some of the shows and wanted to share my highlights with you i also took a closer look at some of the makeup looks at the shows and wanted to recreate two of my absolute favorite looks so let's jump into it so to see the collections i love to check the vogue runway app this is just great to take a closer look at the different collections and looks i also enjoy watching the shows on youtube but the app just gives the greatest overview i think so i've seen a lot of different makeup looks this fashion week there was a lot of natural skin with barely any makeup for example at the miu miu show i love that show i will get into it later on but i also saw some colorful looks for example at the Versace show here the girls had blue and pink metallic eyeshadows all over the lids in kind of a cat eye shape I think that was quite cool but nothing too crazy some colorful looks I really liked were in the collection from Andreas Grontaler for Vivian Westwood here the makeup was quite colorful and a bit weirdly positioned but I really like it for example there was this one pink copperish metallic tone underneath the eyes and on top of the lips I think it looked really stunning and I also really liked one makeup look which was blue eyebrows and the matching blue eyeshadow on the lids I think that looked really cool but the looks that got me most excited were on Vivian herself I think she's just such a rock star I'm so in love with her the looks are so cool with the blue eyeshadow on the high points of her face and the red lines above her lips and on her lids that looks so weird and intense insanely cool i'm so obsessed with it as for colorful looks i also liked one look at the nina ritchie show which was a green metallic lip i think that was really cool the rest was nothing crazy one look i saw quite often was the black smoky eye look i saw this at the tom ford show as well as at the dior show and also the chanel show had this black smoky eye which actually fit the show perfectly because it had this nightclub vibe so it was really perfect for the show i also liked a few outfits from the show it was a lot about layering there was one look i really liked it was this light pink look with the leggings underneath the skirt and then a jacket on top which is open cut a bit like a blazer but it still had this typical chanel jacket form i really like that look too so my absolute favorite show in general was the Miu Miu show. I was already so excited for the show and when I saw it, it was just mind-blowing for me. I love the setting in the mountains. It looks so beautiful and the whole collection and contrast to it with all the colors and different shapes just looks so stunning. I especially love the puffer jacket that has the typical Miu Miu pattern made as a puffer jacket which is usually in their classic bags and they turned it into this jacket i think this is so smart i love the colors white and green pink and red pink and yellow and all the different natural brown shades i think Miu Miu did a great job because they are actually quite girly and maybe even a bit tacky with all the glitter and ribbons and putting this in contrast to some cool oversized puffer jackets and cargo pants really works beautifully and I think it looks amazing the makeup look in general was very natural the models look like they barely have anything on their face which actually matches the show and the setting beautifully so I think they just did an amazing job and I'm so into it I also really like the Kiko Kostadinov show I think Kiko Kostadinov is so good with patterns and colors and the shapes looked modern with the square cutouts but even more than the outfits I like the makeup I especially fell in love with one makeup look which is this one I love the lip the base looks quite natural so the lip is really the statement of the look and I think it looks so beautiful it's kind of an ombre lip which means it has a darker outline and then it fades into a lighter nude shade towards the center of the lip. I think this lip looks so stunning and I actually never tried a dark lip before. This look really made me want to try it, so let's give it a shot. 
Okay, so I already applied my base. I used this NARS primer and this tinted moisturizer from Laura Mercier. I will link every product I use down below. So for the lip, I'm so excited to try it out. I will first apply this lipstick from Laura Mercier. This is a nude color and applying this as a base makes it easier to blend the darker shades into it later. So I just pat the color in softly and I didn't apply too much. I just want a thin layer of it. And now I will go in it with my lip liner. This one is from Charlotte Tilbury. It's a very dark brown. It's called the Pillow Talk Intense Color. And now I will outline my lips and I will start in the edges. And I already start to fill them in at the edges where it's supposed to be as dark as possible, like this. And I always have Q-tips around and makeup remover just to always go back and forth to correct any kind of mistakes. This lip liner is really good because it's very long lasting, but it also means that it just does not move, which makes it very hard to blend, which is why I also have a darker lipstick color, just to be sure that everything melts in together beautifully. So I will apply this at the edges of my lip too. On this look, it almost looks like they just outline the outer edges, but I think it will look better with outlining the whole lip for me. And then just put some brighter color in the center of the lip. And what I do is I take a flat brush and soften the edges so it's not too harsh of a line. I will now add some brighter nude tone to my lip in the center of the lip directly just to make the fade even a bit more intense and then I blend it with my fingers so I think it's going quite well I will now apply some lip gloss since this look has a very glossy lip I will use this lip gloss called Lip Glass from MAC. I love this lip gloss because it's super, super glossy without any glitter in it. And I just apply it with my fingers and just softly tap it from the center of my lips towards the edges of my lips, just to not drag the darker colors off the edges towards the center of the lip. So this is my version of the Kiko Kostadinov lip. I think I really like it. I would definitely wear it actually. And I think the fade makes it really wearable and I actually kind of like it. So I'm very happy I tried it. So another makeup look I really wanted to try was from the Givenchy show. The Givenchy show was quite dark. I really liked it. There was one very long fitted coat that looked insane it was gray and had the matching pants i think that look was really cool and also a sequin dress that started with a dark blue color and then faded into gold with feathers in the end i think this dress was insane but what i liked most about the show was the eye makeup i think it was the most sophisticated makeup of the whole fashion week it looked really cool especially on the model meadow walker with her black bob and white tips so the eye makeup is a cat eye and what is special about it is that the bottom lash line is covered with a white eye pencil to hide the actual bottom lash line and move it a bit downwards and then create a false bottom lash line to make an optical illusion of a bigger eye. I think that is so interesting. It's almost like drag makeup and I really wanted to try it out. So let's see how it goes. So I removed my lip. It was quite sad. I will start by enhancing the crease and shaping the eye and for it I will use this bronzer from NARS and I just follow my natural bone structure and then I use a clean brush just to blend it and I will not prime my eyelids just because I will be working with a lot of gel eyeliner and the shadow I put on now is actually the only form of eyeshadow I use so I don't think it's very necessary to put on primer. Okay, so now I will use this 
angled eyeliner brush from Da Vinci and some gel eyeliner and just dip into it. And then I just look straight into the mirror and already try to see where I want the cat eye to end and where I want it to begin. So this appears to be a quite straight cat eye, so I will try to do the same. And I will just draw a little dot on where I want it to end. Then I will connect the edge of my eyes to the dot and just create the first line. What I do now is basically just go back and forth with different brushes and try to layer the eye to make it as dark as possible and also go in with q-tips just to correct it and just to really shape the eye in the right direction and then I try to do the same thing on the other side. And now I take a black um, eye pencil and just go in between the lashes just to also color the roots in black. And also the upper waterline. Okay, so I think this is going into the right direction. I will apply the eyeliner now on the other side of my eye too. So I applied the cat eye on the other side too. I really hope that they are even. Now I will apply some white eye pencil in my bottom lash line and on top and between the lashes. And I really try to layer it to make it really look as white as possible. I will now apply this black eye pencil underneath my white bottom lash line, starting at the outer corners. And I smudge it a bit just to soften the edges. So I think it looks quite good until here. Now comes the crazy part. I will try to apply false lashes today. These are individuals, they are for my bottom lash line and then I will put these ones on top, I'm very excited. And I think the lashes are very important for this look just because they then really make this illusion of a bigger eye with the false lashes on top of the black bottom eyeliner. Lash glue. This might come as no surprise but putting on false lashes is a real pain. Um, I'm trying my best though. Ooh, I'm excited, I really like it. I will now apply the lashes on the other side of my eye too. Okay, so I applied the bottom false lashes on both sides and now I will apply my false lashes on top. So... This is my finished makeup look. I really like it. I think it's so much fun. I especially love the false lashes since it was my first time trying out false lashes. I was a bit nervous, but I think it turned out quite well. And I'm very happy with it, actually. I don't know if I would wear it outside. Maybe, maybe for a party or a special occasion someday. I really like the look and I had so much fun recreating the looks. So I hope you like it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you soon. Bye!